out there, all the way around there, into that cavity wall and out into the sewers. Well, this is all a bit weird, Rick, because I mean, we don't know what's going on here with this pipe work, do we? But all of this here, right, we don't know where that one goes, do we? No. But that one comes off that, that one goes into that, and that one goes to the drain around the corner. So that's a mystery pipe still. This pipe somehow just goes, goes round into that. Into there. The lovely builders who did this work didn't even bother to put a manhole cover on the top of it, just put a slab on the top. The, other, the pest controllers that have been out here as well, it's actually the people that I used to work for years and years ago. Hi guys, you know who I am. <laughs> Perhaps you should start getting us out to come to these jobs because we're hearing stories that people are using glue traps, scratching their heads. Good report on your politeness though, but you know who you are. <laughs> Someone's been putting tracking dust in the manholes. That's not really going to tell you anything. You want that to go the opposite way around. So if we're up in the loft, tracking dust wants to be up there because then if you see some in the manhole, that's going to give you an inkling of that it's something to do with the drains. But putting it in here and hoping that that's gonna get all the way up to the loft, especially if there's tracking dust up in the loft, well, you're never gonna see it, are you? And if it's wet. And it's, yeah, because they're gonna get the tracking dust on them, go through the water, and it's gonna come all off them. So we're on that same pipe and we found another mystery pipe. I'm gonna just get the glare off it. And we're hoping that it's gonna be right there. And Ricky's gonna pour some dye down it. It wouldn't make any sense, but with the drainage, we know it all the time. <laughs> Let's have a look. So it'll either come out there or it'll come out there by process of elimination. I'll be amazed if it comes out of there. It might be all full of leaves and stuff as well, isn't it? Oh, the water's getting deeper. <laughs> Can't see anything coming out of it though. Oh, was that green? Look in here. Oh, no, it's here. I found it. <laughs> oh, wow. That's some plumbing. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Where's that? It's underneath there, there's a pipe coming out of the wall. Okay. Whew. Getting deeper and deeper. Okay, let's see where that one comes out then. Can I be faster than the water? That's the question. Nothing in there yet. So where is it? That pipe there is not that pipe there. Because this pipe was the one that we saw first. The pipe that's on that screen now is somewhere here. It's after it. Yeah, it's not even on there. Is so it? it's not on there. Pick it up for some reason. So the die when we flush it down to those both there, it came down here. We haven't seen that yet, but that's also potentially a redundant pipe, isn't it there? Yeah. Which is underneath that concrete which, slab. Which for some reason, these professionals didn't even see it. Actually baffles you, doesn't it? Baffles you. So what Rick's doing now is we're going to try and find out what this pipe is. Uh, we're going to put different coloured dyes down the two toilets first. Uh, purple first, so that's what we're looking for first. Purple dye. Let's have a look. It comes out of here. That would be really good, really good information. That's the pipe right there that we're looking for. The mystery pipe. It didn't even exist on the survey that they've paid money to get done. Oh, I've got some purple. That, we, the reek is coming out of that one there, look, so it must be coming out of that, the one before this one. Yeah, so that's coming out of there. Which means, if I go back on the drawing, so the downstairs toilet is, is going from into that, Somehow. Somehow and coming into there okay. and then we're seeing it in that manhole right yeah. there. Okay, next one. So I'm still nothing out of this one. Then we'll have to run all the sinks, I suppose. So now we should be looking for a yellow dye. Yeah, that's coming out of there as well. So this is looking like a redundant pipe. You don't want a redundant pipe. And what we're gonna do now is we'll check all the sinks any other water that we can pour down there and we'll see we'll see if anything comes out there i think it's just a redundant pipe this this was built originally first okay and then and he had a, a toilet and a hand basin and okay. then the new owners pre us put the ensuite with the showering 
that's an extra bit. So you got the sink was there, but then they added the shower. You got you got a triple whammy there then. So you got an extension, an extension with a toilet, yeah. and then then they've added a shower on yeah. after that. So yeah. you've got like three three of the warning signs that something yeah. has been missed somewhere. Something dodgy pipe works there. <laughs> I think what they've done is they've put a, a thirty mil pipe into a four inch pipe. And they haven't like put a seal around it. That's what they did the, the other two. That's, what, that, that's exactly what they did for the other two. Four okay. inch pipe, and there's a two inch, like a, a, a white pipe. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Going into the four inch pipe, and they didn't put a seal around that's it. That's what I can think that's going on there. Because yeah. it looks like they've cut a perfect hole in the, the floorboard, but the pipe is still four inch underneath yeah. it. You know, it's yeah. not like a. And that's that's, and what that's they why did. you can hear it yeah. echoing through the gap in the floor. Let's put some dye down it then. What Do colour are you going with? Um, green or yellow, whichever one you want to call it. <laughs> Um, see right where it comes out in that manhole. So that was Keith, our customer. His wife's somewhere else, lovely lady. Um, but as you know, this is the same story you see on all our Rat Free Lifetime Guarantee videos. It's, it's disgusting, really. Is it is going down now, Rick? Yeah. I think that's it, isn't it? They're, they're, all coming, they're, they're all going into the pipe that comes from that manhole. When we get in there, everything will yeah. come together. Trust me. Trust me. Hang, hang on, it must be that then. Must be what? The, the quest, ones with the question marks on. That must be where all the bathroom is. Because if you're seeing that dye in this manhole right now... Yeah, that, that, and I think all of this, everything that we're flushing is coming out of that. Nothing's coming out yeah, of that one and that then, we found. And let's not forget that that pipe still goes that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, we still that, yeah. So we've discovered more in half an hour than... So all we'd need to do to prove that is to go into that manhole, come down here, yeah, find this can. question mark pipe, do what we just did again, and if yeah. the dive comes out, then that means yeah. there's but, but issues while, there. while we're on it, let's systematically go through all the sinks yeah. and the sh shower. Because you never know, dear, let's face it. You just well, never I'll know. Do, I'll do the shower next because it is in that same mm -hmm. room, which I think a lot of bodries happen. Okay, go with the red this time, though, because yeah. there's still a bit of green coming through yeah, that. See if it comes out of that. Yeah, room. will do. So the mystery, the mystery goes on. I don't actually think this is the main, the main issue by the way, this pipe, but we shall find out more. That, the, the, I've got green coming through now. I thought you used red just. Oh, now the red's coming, now the red's coming. So well, that one comes out to there as well. And again, it's not coming out of this this pipe right here. I think they're going into that manhole. So let's see, does anything come out of there? Maybe on the master bedroom, which was on the original house. Slowly but surely we build up a picture and then we come up with a solution. And I'm pretty convinced we'll have this done in one day, one visit. And then we've got to go back to a bee job back in Birmingham. I was down in Chippenham today, down south. But then we're going back to Birmingham because yesterday we we're doing a lovely bee removal and the queen ran off into the, into the loft and wouldn't come back again. So we've got to go back there annoyingly. But if you want to watch our bee stuff, get over to our, our other channel, which is Hems's Holistic Honey. I'll put a link here if you're watching on mobile or there. There it'll be. That's where the link is. So if you want to watch our bee stuff, watch it on there. Ah, and there it is again. So that's all going. Pretty sure it's definitely not coming out of that pipe. So that was come out of the same place again. And I think when we put the camera down here, yeah, there, there's, the, there's the car there. Just going to see if they've got any more sinks to try. Oh, so that door is coming into that one and then going there. So that must go back into that pipe that we know where it is. Oh, there you are. Oh, that's <laughs> so, the garage then, that's the mystery one. So, so that's the garage. That's the garage. The first lot came through there. Which is this done. The first. The, the one that the you second. did before that one. Yeah, the second <laughs> one is... Kitchen? The, no, the bathroom sink, which okay. is there. Yeah. The second one after that is, so the one after that was this one here, which is the garage sink. The first one was... 
which was the first one that flew. That was it, the ensuite sweet sync, which would have gone into the same one that the rest of them did. Awesome. Okay, certainly getting there. I'm really intrigued to see where this pipe goes that we're in. Yeah. Because nothing gets so all the sinks have been flushed, everything's been flushed. That goes from there to there to there to there. Then there's a sink over. Well, oh, where's that sink? It's on that part wall. On that wall. Can you see through that window? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that is. It's not that manhole, is it? Oh, it's on that wall. Yeah, so that, that sort of. Um, so they haven't even dash. drawn that on, but it must. Yeah, there. <laughs> okay, so that's there. Well, I don't know how much we can work off that, really. So it's 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 accurate-ish. It's just missing huge it's parts missing. of the pipe work. If I'd have done that, I'd have just done it on a bigger piece of paper to fit it all in. <laughs> so far, that pipe is still... No one has any idea why it's there. The only other thing I can think is we haven't found where that surface water went off the top, there's off the front. More, there's one more that we haven't found out where it goes. Which is... Which, if you look on this drawer in here... Which was there, at that corner there, wasn't if it? If you look at this drawing, that would be over here. That'd be that corner. So, I mean, it's not unlikely that that could go like that, into that. But I haven't seen it. No, I know. No, because no, there's two next to each other. There's one that's probably going off somewhere like that. And then there's another one on this corner here. So I'll do we the might second have to get one. The camera down, isn't we? Yeah, I'll do the second lot of dye just to see. And what's the second lot of dye going in? In the, in the drain pipe that's right next to that one. Drain pipe that's right next to Because there's that. two right next to each other. One had a, a ceramic pipe and one had a plastic pipe. Okay. Um, the so ceramic I've, one I'm intrigued I've by. Done, I've already done that one. Oh, because that's ceramic pipe we're looking at, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, but it could be plastic up there. So we just need to find, make sure that that's definitely... But if that is redundant... Right. Uh, let's that. do this last one then. Yeah. I'm feeling quite useless that here. What colour is that? Oh. Dark, yellow, green. <laughs> I like a challenge. Well, what we need to know is if it's coming out of there, so it doesn't matter what colour it is. True, if anything comes out of there, isn't it? It's just so we can actually see it on the camera because it's a bit, it's a bit uh, messy. Because that could literally be open underneath that slab, couldn't it? Well, I think it's further than that slab. I think it's over there. Yeah. Well, that's Thank a bit you. of a mystery, isn't it, that? So it's either blocked. Where it goes, nobody knows. <laughs> I think that should be our catchphrase. Yeah. Might get some t-shirts on if you want one. Where it goes, nobody knows. When they did the smoke test, do you know which one of these they did it on? Um, is it going to be this one that's running along the bottom? I'm not sure. All I know oh, they've put it... a star there. Ah, right. So the ones with the stars next to it. Oh, the smokes. Yeah, they did it in the ensuite. And that's where smoke sort of came out. Yeah, so the ensuite um, shower it came out of there. Mm -hmm. And he said it's not a problem. Don't worry about it. That can be resolved later. So that's the internal plumbing. That one has nothing to do with the wet, so to speak. Okay. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got some healing, maybe I'm going to come from. I think there's a little bit came out of the sink one but that's where they've now put the uh the concrete and sealed it okay and i'm guessing it's highlighted these ones in green because of those the water authority pipes, yeah. i'm going to imagine right so there's still this one's still uh, no no idea and then you've got one here well we've tried all the sinks we've tried all the surface water haven't we it doesn't come out of that pipe no, but no. annoyingly the one surface water on the far corner we haven't seen where that comes out no. which is a bit annoying so i think what we do then we try and solve that mystery in a bit yeah. but we keep on pushing down here to see, where see what else goes. we can find yeah so that's what we're gonna do right i'm gonna check that pipe that came off that surface surface water and have a quick look in here mate do you want me to <laughs> you forgive me so <laughs> We always go the extra yard. But you've got to check everything. Right, a bit dubious about that up the side of there. No. No, there's no smear marks on the wall. I'm going to just turn that down a bit. There's no smear marks on the wall there. I don't think anything can get through there. Right, let's get on to the next bit, Rick. OK, Rick, look what I've discovered here, mate. So this has cost... 1200 quid plus a bit of cement work off some professionals 
Well, that's not right. That should be all nicely tapered off. This is the start of the liner. Um, and that's all, you know, it's just a risk of catching on things, isn't it? It should be smooth and tapered. When we do it, it's always a nice tapered joint. But then, look, I think they've missed the gap that they were trying to fill. Because that's the end of the liner. Yeah. And I could see that looks like a bit of broken pipe there, and maybe soil above it. It's like an inch gap from the front face. So I've to miss the bloody... finger. From the face of that edge there to the liner, which is here, there's like an inch yeah, gap look, between it. If you look here, that gap's bigger than it looks there, and you can see smear marks on it, look. Yeah. Yeah. So now that should go into... Oh. And that's where we were before. Okay. Yes, and that other pipe's next That other to pipe it. is to the right of it's that. It's literally here, the yeah. one that goes nowhere. Okay, so we'll come up with a fix and... Yeah. So, let's have a look up these other ones. We started it in um, mid-November. So in mid-November you moved in yeah. and basically you inherited the, the rat inherited problem. The problem from the previous owner. Which is lovely. It was sort of semi-resolved in early January. Early January. And we had no movement for about two, two and a half months. And then we had movement again. And tell me, the pest controllers who were coming out, poison, throwing, putting poison down. Put poison down, um, got some motion cameras. Uh, traps, um, but nothing was ever proven or uh, yeah. nothing was in the traps. Didn't you say to me on the on the video call that we did that, that they even put used glue traps? They put some uh, glue mats down. Yeah. And what was that for? To for the rats? Because they couldn't catch the rats. They couldn't catch the rats. Are you allowed to use them on rats? No, not unless you've got a license now. So very naughty, very naughty, and they're horrible bits of kit. I mean, it's I've disgusting. Used them I've used them twice in 15 years, and both of those was inside. That, that, that should come out of, yeah. So that lining cost 1,200 quid. It wasn't even done right. So I'm presuming that's the manhole in the garage. Water, yeah. in the garage. Okay, the end we might as well go from blocked. there then, aren't we? Let's go and check that one out next. So we're inside now, and I think we've worked out the other side of that wall, I should say, where we were just were. That was that manhole I was looking in. And I think we've found where that uh, surface water off the roof pipe is. So I think there's something blocked up in there. So let's see if we can get some more drips. Pouring it down now. Oh, add one drip. <laughs> And one extra drip, it might have just been ready to go. Like I put in red this time. Another drip. <laughs> Must be clogged up the leaves, hasn't it? Unless that's. Uh... Well, it's dripping faster now because it wasn't dripping at all. Then you poured that in, and we've had three drips. This one. I'm not the most patient of men, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> The only other thing it could be, maybe the kitchen sink. Could it be the yeah. kitchen sink? Because you put some dye down that, didn't you? Kitchen sink. Try the kitchen sink. Oh yeah, in fact, Try that. that would make more sense. Yeah. So it looks like it might still be a mystery then. Yes, kitchen sink. Hmm. So we didn't cure that problem, but we know that's the kitchen sink. Oh, red's coming through now. Red's coming through. Yeah, that's, the, that's what I just put in the kitchen oh, sink. Oh, you put that? I got all excited then, I thought it was off the, uh, the surface water. Okay. It's still changed red now. It, it did, it did. But you put red down the other one as well, didn't you? Yeah. Let's get up this one then, Rick. It's going to be an awkward one. There's actually some old rat droppings right there, look. So let's, let's see where this goes. That looks like a bit of pipe. Yeah, there's gravel in it. Doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Is that actually a piece of pipe look in the bottom? It's hard to tell, I think it is. Or it's a piece of, it's definitely some sort of stone. Now it's going up, isn't it? That's the bottom of the toilet, isn't it? It does look like a toilet. Keep going. Is this where they fitted that rubber bung that we, we found in the manhole? But that looks like toilet stuff all over it. Does, doesn't it? Do you want to just 
flush the toilet bowls, please, yeah, sir. Yeah, I'll do my bathroom first. So the toilet water did come out of there, I just press yeah. record. <laughs> yeah, if you flush the other toilet, I'll be amazed if it does come out of here, but yeah. with the plumbing in this place. So I mean, I want to find, I want to go and have a look at that toilet because I don't think that was the one that was cemented. So how has rocky stuff got in there? Perhaps it's off the pipes that they joined it to. That's in front, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's going into that, into other, that other manhole. Into that other manhole, yeah. The other side of the wall. How far is that away from there? Could, could you flush the first toilet again? Yeah. Just yeah. see if we can get that to move a little bit. But I've got a feeling it is stuck to the pipe. I do as well. Yeah. That's definitely stuck to the pipe. Yeah. Yeah, so there's well, no point trying to jet The good that thing out. is that it's going to just stay there. Yeah. As much as I would like to jet that out, that ain't budging. <laughs> that ain't no, budging. It's, it's going to stay there forever and a day. But the fact that that's downstream of where that toilet joins in kind of makes us a bit suspicious about that as well. Right, okay, I think we've kind of done everything we need to do on this. We know where the problems are. Uh, just trying to remember where the problems were. Is that redundant pipe? There's that redundant pipe next to the old pipe. And that's that piece of black rubber that you found, where, where do you think that was fitted? Was it here, this uh, one? The one fitted here, yeah. in the hallway, and then one in the kitchen. It ain't gonna how do they get to them? The difficulty, the floor lifts up here so we can get to that one, you can see that one. Okay. And then the one in the kitchen, they literally had to pull the floorboards up and it's, it's a bit difficult yeah. to see that one. I reckon the one in the kitchen isn't the problem, I reckon it's this one here. That's where the dead rat was found. Yeah, I reckon so, it's this one. Look at that. Do we need a screwdriver or something? Uh, so that's what that white pipe dropping into it. Okay. And they fitted that one of those rubber things yeah. in there, did they? And then concreted it. So if that's come from there, that rubber thing that I'm going to show you in two seconds with all the rat teeth marks in it, if that's come from there and got into the manhole where it was discovered. Well, that means, although that concrete's all over the top of it, yeah. well, the rats can get out of the end of the pipe because the grommet has gone, and they've got underneath the, underneath there as well, haven't they? That's just hovering, isn't it? That's yeah. cement, that's just hovering over the yeah the hole the rat's getting out of. Now, let's go and have a look at that uh, piece of rubber. Here's that aforementioned piece that was found in the manhole. You can see the massive teeth marks in that. Look, look at that there. All the way around there. And... What we can tell from that, although they put concrete on the top of it, it wasn't on the top of it, was it? Because we'd have concrete marks on the top. Do you see what I'm saying? So that was basically sat like that. Then there's some concrete over the top of it. So that leaves a lovely little void space there. They've chewed through it, gone through. They've even had the audacity to pull that back down the pipe for some reason. But yeah, that's uh, entry point number two, isn't it? So let's get all these problems sorted and uh, get back to sort some bees out, Rick, hey? If you want to watch the bees get over to our sister channel hems's holistic honey so we're up in the loft right now there's a few trails here we'll show this this is what other pest controllers have left behind in the past there's uh, an empty poison tray there another bait tray over there look rick uh so i've been using rodenticide look at all the damage on here where the rats have been chewing away at this stuff they love this stuff and this is kind of similar to expanding foam and that's why don't use expanding foam it doesn't work let's go and look down the other end rick let's see what we can find <laughs> these are big rats rick i think the pest controller got more on his hands than he did on the floor but he seemed to think if i use my pointy bit of my torch look down there he seemed to think or oh, the pest controllers have been in the past that's all tracking dust down there and they seem to believe that that was where they were coming up, but not really. No, there's a couple of trails, nothing substantial. So let's carry on down here because I think this is more off, off their boots, you know, the, the pest controller's boots. This is some deep insulation. Oh, I only went for the roof then. <laughs> Don't let on us. Mouse trap, the, the rat trap, the big cheese. Big cheese, right? Oh, there's another one there, they've all gone off. This is where they wanted the tracking dust. There's a load of rodenticide up here anyway that nothing's touched. Whew, it's a warm one today. Nearly the end of June. Nearly my birthday, Rick. Let's get my birthday. Where are you going to be uh, now? 92? 92, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all trays of rat poison and stuff up here. There's one here, look, that's actually still full of poison. 
and they obviously didn't really like that because I think they've done poos on the top of it. So. But obviously not palatable to these rats. Annoyingly, we were just down that other end and where they really wanted to get all the tracking dust was down this end because this is where the problem is. It's underneath that wall on that redundant pipe that we were showing you and a couple of other places as well. So really they needed to get their stuff down here and you can see like the divots in the, in the insulation. Look where they're going into this wall, into that cavity wall and out into the sewers. But not for much longer because they've got a rat free lifetime guarantee. Whew, just gotta get them bees, Rick.